Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas and welcome to Vegas where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center for tonight's main event. 12 rounds, light heavyweights. And now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. Alvarez's unpredictability belies his ring walk focus. He is ready for action. The Cobra's coming down to the ring now. And what a nice reception as he is completely focused in on his goal tonight. All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. Opening three minutes of this scheduled 12 rounder. Takes one, but gives one. Good work, Ricardo Alvarez is good. Tie up. And he ties up on the inside. Blocks the headshot. <laughs> By Ricardo Alvarez. Stun, wow, both guys have gotten to the other here. Now these two corners have to do their job after both men went out and gave everything they had. Both fighters getting tagged and hurt by the other. Yeah, well, what you have to do now in the corner, Joe, what you're alluding to is you have to revitalize the fighter. Put some cold water on his head, on his neck, you know, get him ready for the next round and give him some good advice. Tell him how to way, get away from some of those shots. Deep breath now. Deep breath. Relax, relax. Are you all right? I need you to keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but he doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rearview mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. Wow, what an uppercut. Come on, baby. 
zones in on that overhand right. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Well placed hook there. He got all into that one. That was a solid uppercut. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. He's tired! He's tired! Come on! Get A headshot blocked. The Cobra's crushed by that shot to the head! Last 10 seconds. Keep working the box! The Cobra's doing something that I often question, and that's a fighter going out there as that round comes to an end. Once again, just being able to say he didn't put forth enough effort. Why? Because it's a mental game, Joe, and it's about confidence. And right now, he does not have the confidence to go forth and do those things, even though you and me are looking and we see the opportunities there. He doesn't see them. He doesn't feel them. Three is underway. The Cobra's snapped by a right hand. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Keep moving. Back to the body. Alvarez is able to avoid that punch. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. Nice work on the right hand by Alvarez. Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Keep working the box. Nice work with the overhand right. That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by Alvarez. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. There he is from long range using that jab. Joe, if you're on the outside, say at a picnic, you want to keep those insects away, you use insect repellent. While you're on the outside as a fighter, you want to keep your opponent away, that jab, that's the way to go. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Watch the hook! Nice, nice work! He's doing well. There you go. Not too much. It's okay. It's okay. I need you to move this round, all right? Move. Muevate. He's going to come in swinging. He thinks you're still hurt, and he's going to look to finish you off. Alvarez is ahead on Teddy's scorecard as we take a peek at those scores for the first time here today. Round number four just underway. After three rounds, he finds himself up just a round, but nothing really to pull away early on. Nice defense. Good block by Alvarez. Nice strike after catching one by Alvarez. Back to the body. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. 
The Cobra's right hand scores well that time. He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, man, he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. Oh, that's got to hurt. The Cobra's down. First knockdown of this fight. It's going to be interesting to see how he recovers here. One, two, three, four, five. So he goes down but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but... If he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. A flush hook scores well for him. <laughs> Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Oh, what a harsh jab that time by Alvarez. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. What impact from that uppercut by Alvarez. Alvarez is having a field day on the inside, putting a lot into that uppercut. Well, he's smart. He's, you know, part of being an effective good fighter is understanding what punch to choose from the arsenal. He's picking the right punch at the right time. Inside, the opening is there for that uppercut. Seconds to go in the fourth. End of this round. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Now they got some work to do here. Their man was just dropped. Yeah, the first thing is you put some cold water. You can't use that. You clear his head, and you tell him why he was dropped. The Cobra's got to be so careful here, Teddy. He was knocked down in the last round, and you know his opponent's going to be gunning for him here at the start of this round. But this is where you walk a tightrope, so to speak, because if he's too careful, as you alluded to, guess what? His opponent walks in, and the fight's going to get stopped. So, yeah, he's got to be smart, but he's also got to pitch something at his opponent, chuck something at his opponent to keep him off a little bit, too. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go, oh no, actually I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round, a piercing jab by Alvarez. well upstairs with the right hand. And now they're trading blows. Now he ties up there. Precision work with the left hand by Alvarez. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Good, good. Nice work. Listen, I want you to go downstairs, then upstairs, okay? Body, then head. Let's finish this. Looking good, looking good. You're losing this fight. You gotta pick it up. You hear me? Pick it up. You need to cover up more, okay? You're leaving yourself open too much. Cover up. 
the start of the sixth round. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. And now he scores well with a straight right. Blocks that belt line well. What an impact that left hand just made by the Cobra. Right to the head with that right. Good defense just covering up down low. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. The Cobra's not the kind of guy that's going to float like a butterfly at all. He's more like an elephant just camped out. And he's getting stung by a lot of bees right now for camping out. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. You got this one! And he engages in the clinch. That straight right unable to connect. Ricardo Alvarez is... Well-targeted left hand by the Cobra. Nice! Nice! Hey, got a stack coming, let's go! Working our way towards the bell, last 10 seconds of the sixth. Alvarez, his corner, can do nothing but just applaud him as he returns to the school. Yet another round where he put forth more and more punishment to his opponent. Yeah, well, they're applauding him and they should thank his opponent for doing an imitation of a heavy bag. It has been completely one-sided so far tonight, and he's in control as we start this round. That was a fine block by Alvarez. Alvarez is showing us that defense is also very much part of his game. Yeah, it is. Not only to avoid punches, but actually to even set up offense, you know. They make you miss, and then there's something coming back. It creates opportunities to hit you. That's a good left hand by the Cobra. Way through the seventh round. Solid straight right hand. Brings the hook that time. Defense! More defense! Oh, things opened up and he was able to place the right hand well. He goes from damaged goods to defensive goods. Yeah, because right now he's fighting on instinct. He's doing things without even thinking. Just automatic things. Things that he was taught five years ago, three years ago, that maybe he thought about, but he didn't do. Now they're just coming out. He's just naturally surviving. Not an act. What a great round this has turned into. After doing the hurting, now he's the one hurt. Joe, this is about wit, grit, and spit. This is about fighting. Blocks that punch. Okay, listen. You can throw him off with some head movement. That's it. Throw him off with head movement. Listen, he's done. He's done! I want you to double up that jab.
Okay, listen. He's gonna come forward this round. Keep that yab moving. Keep him away from you, all right? The Cobra is not looking so hot right now. He's down on your scorecards. That's one thing, Teddy. But as we start this eighth round, you can just see that he doesn't have much left. Well, you know, this is the test now. I mean, this is the time where you separate the men from the boys. Do you want to be a fighter? Do you want to be a champion? Those questions have to be asked, and they have to be answered. Already trailing on your scorecards as well. Alvarez is in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. seconds to go halfway through round eight and now just wasting away some time with that clinch with that headshot. Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Go out and get it. Go out and fight this guy. Take it to this guy. You have to go out and get this guy. Okay. Please. You can throw him off with some head movement. That's here at the start of this round, which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Come on, kid, focus! And here he goes again with the clinching. Keep moving. Got a seagull coming. This is excessive holding we're seeing here now. Good step back counter punch there. Alvarez's head movement is really a factor in this fight. I mean, who would have thought it? Just one of the aspects of defense could be such a big key to this fight right now. Yeah, it is. And his opponent right now is not making adjustments. Matter of fact, he's starting to drown himself because he's going more and more head hunting. And the more he does it, the more he misses, the more frustrated he gets, the more tired he gets. He needs to make a change downstairs to the place that's not moving, down to the body. And he just holds on there. It's all right. Keep moving. Alvarez's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine. This has been a hotly contested war throughout. 
and you just have a sense that it's going to end at any moment in these later rounds. Yeah, these guys are not saving anything. They're going for broke right from the beginning. You can't just move around. You got to move your hands in there. Let's go. And now they start round number 10. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut. Look at that. Great work there. Alvarez is now showing off what he probably worked very hard on in the gym. You can see that the effective footwork, the movement, is making for this to be a fairly easy round for him. Teddy, what kind of training regimen do you put a guy through to develop this skill? Well, what you do is you have to work on defense. Sometimes I'll put a fighter in the ring to spar, and I won't let him throw punches back. I'll make him just make the guy miss. Just use his legs, use his head movement, use his blocking skills, and make sure he concentrates exactly on one thing, defense. He's showing it right now. Now hugging on the inside. A hammering hook by Al. The Cobras stumbled back. He just got hurt. Wow! And he crashes to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? One, two, three, four, five, six. He went down from a big shot. Now he's got to have some big guts to move along. You're going to find out exactly what he's made of. Counting down towards the end of the 10th round. 10 seconds to go. And round 10 comes to an end. You're leaving yourself open now. You're throwing your punches wide. Keep tight. It's over. He's tired. He's got nothing left, okay? Just go for the head. Knock him out. It's done. Much better. Much better. That was good. Round number 11, scheduled for 12. Time to look at Teddy's scorecards. Alvarez is out in front. Teddy, what does he have to do to secure this win? Don't be like Billy Kahn was years ago against Joe Lewis in the late rounds, actually the 13th round, where all of a sudden his corner told him, just box, keep doing what you're doing, you can't lose. He said, no, I'm going to knock him out. Don't do that. Keep boxing. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. The Cobra's thinking defense first right now, Teddy. I mean, you can just see it in him. He's thinking strictly, hey, what happened earlier, I don't want that to happen again. And that's what his opponent wants him to think. So that's all you need to know, that you can't think that way, especially since that's not his style. Joe, if he was a counterpuncher, it'd be okay. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was coming in. Oh, and there you go. And he beat the count. I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. over fight is over by ricardo alvarez gunned down yet another opponent a knockout victory that's 
what you want to see, a guy who can close the show and finish with style. He ends up a knockout victor tonight. And that's what his trainer wanted. His trainer was even telling him, step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible, and they got it. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time ringside.